Hello everybody, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Friday, so it's time for another Friday Reads and the sun is out. There's no humidity and it's going to be like this whole weekend. So I hope wherever you are that the weather is cooperating as well. It's just that the last few weekends have been so rainy and cloudy and yeah. So let me just tell you about the books. I actually got a lot of reading done and I'm really surprised because I'm starting a new job. I'm in my second week now and I'm surprised at how much reading I got, particularly over the weekend, but also during the week. So let me just tell you real quick what I finished reading. So the first book that I finished was Roomies by Christina Lauren. I absolutely loved this book and I will speak about this um, more in detail during my summer romance book bingo wrap up that I will do at the end of the month. Um, this one was just right up there and it was fabulous and it is about um, a young woman that works in a Broadway theater and she falls in love with a musician that plays in the subway station and it's just all kinds of wonderful. The next book that I finished was The Lucky Ones by Tiffany Reese. This book is a romantic suspense and I'll again I'll speak about it more during my summer romance book bingo wrap up but this was a mystery and thriller. The rom there was romance but it was on the back burner. The main book the main plot was the mystery and romance. It's about a young girl that it's about a young girl that grew up in an idyllic, she was um, adopted. She was a foster child of a famous neurosurgeon from the age of seven to 12. And during those years, it was idyllic. You know, it was like the perfect life. They lived on a mansion in near the ocean. And it was just, he fostered a lot of children. So it was a lot of going on in the book. And then she was pushed down the stairs she doesn't remember a week of her life and when she woke up she never saw the neurosurgeon um, or any of her foster brothers or sisters again and now many years later she is invited back um the neurosurgeon is dying and she wants to go back mainly to unravel the mystery of what happened to her on that night when she was 12 years old so it is a really good book. Um, I'm surprised that it's categorized as a romance, quite frankly, but it was really good. The next book that I finished was All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. This is a romance about a married couple where their marriage is disintegrating. There's a lot of problems, you know, the main one being infertility. And it didn't work for me. Although I felt for the characters and I understood the circumstances, something about it just didn't mesh. I kept getting pulled out of the story and I didn't enjoy the narration. I listened to it on audiobook this week. Um, and yeah, unfortunately it didn't work, but if you like Colleen Hoover, which I do, I mean, I've enjoyed every one of her other books. I would definitely read some other reviews and see if you want to give it a go because most people tend to, um, have given it like four or five stars. So this week I'll be working on three books. The first book is one you've seen already, and that is The Mists of Avalon by Marianne Zimmer Bradley. I am buddy reading this with Cheryl over at CR Flames. We are currently on page um, 570 out of almost 900 pages. So we are moving through this at 50 pages a day. <laughs> and I'm really um, enjoying it. It's getting a little bit slow in the middle, but otherwise, and a couple of characters I'm really not fond of, but for the most part, I am enjoying this. The next book that I'll be continuing on this weekend is On Mystic Lake by Kristen Hanna. I'm halfway through. This is another um, book where the marriage is falling apart. However, in this book, the husband asks for a divorce and she decides to move back to her hometown, which is a very small town on the water and she connects with an old flame and things happen you know I thought the plot was going to be pretty straightforward but it does have some twists and turns in there and I really enjoyed it and um or really enjoyed it so far and I will continue on with this the next book that I want to get to this week is The Wedding Date by Julianne 
Goulery, I think is the author. I'll put a picture here. But um, this, as far as I can tell, is about a couple that meets on the elevator. And I came across this book by accident, but it fulfills one of the categories of the summer romance book bingo. So I want to read it um, by the end of the month. And those are the books that I, I will be reading. I know that was very quick, but I feel like I'm going to be talking about them so much in my summer romance wrap up. So I don't want to like, you know, bore you by repeating myself too much about these books. But I really am enjoying myself and I hope that you have, you are having an excellent summer. I know that it's coming to a close, but I actually really love the fall and I'm looking forward to it. It's my favorite season. And um, yeah, so I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all very, very soon.